Oh man. <laughs> Um, I mean, I've always had natural tendency to do art, drawing, um, but I really love conveying and visual communication and how it's just so universal as a means of saying something or showing something. And I just think art is fun, storytelling. But I also like to convey ideas based on experiences I have, whether it's traveling or whether it's um, a hobby that I take up, a point that I want to make across. I'm doing work, I think, mainly about myself. Um, I think about, uh, I cling to a certain style of this fantasy uh, realism and kind of like a gross beauty aspect. Uh, I think I've definitely evolved through the last years in my art style of incorporating different materials and mediums like sculpture and um, ceramic the last two years or so and then painting and charcoal and found materials. Um, I've stretched the installation so I think my work has changed and evolved a lot. I tend to focus on people a lot. And I love color. Color is a big thing in my work. Bright colors in my life. Um, I mean, my fashion choice, for example, very colorful. So I always start with a bright base color. Or, but I usually don't start with a blank canvas because I make a lot of sketches and research about what I'm thinking about. I look at a lot of photos that I've taken as reference photos, um, things that I've been thinking about and kind of articulate all the ideas and thoughts that I have into what I want to express. Um, I start with something, I add more, it gets too muddy, I pull it all off, I start again. Um, it's pretty experimenting on the canvas about what colors. I think I take a lot from of col of my colors, bright color ideas from August Mackey and Expressionism. I like the blue, purple, pink schemes, um, and that's sort of hallucinatory colors just washing down. I have done some things on commission. I think that can be interesting. They show me something the client wants something that I usually don't do um, or they have something specified I've already that I do already in my work or what I've done in the past. I had a concentration last year. Uh, it was a portfolio of work where I focused on the uh, effects that Nestle had in the poor areas of Brazil and the favelas. Um, that I was seeing myself when I was there and I was impacted by and I wanted to see what that translates to in the US. Um, I chose Burger King, a fast food company, and I focused on their advertising color schemes towards children. Um, and I focused it on this little boy in the Burger King crown. Sculpture is a medium where the viewer has a choice of view, which I think is very dynamic as it's three-dimensional and you have to be thinking about every side of it. Uh, I made my first head bust of uh, early this year. Um, kind of aged using like a black oxide stain, but uh, also putting a bit of my own colorful color into that. Uh, I like to say I'm culturally partially Brazilian, um, genetically I'm half Japanese and half white, but um, I go to Brazil a lot, so I have a lot of experience in being in the city of Sao Paulo, and I have several projects and influences from Brazil since I get to go there a lot, and um, family's there. I have. Brazilian passport and uh, my mom's from Brazil. Um, 
I have a tendency to feel more uh, Japanese, but mainly American, definitely mainly American. And besides from art, uh, for what I draw from Japanese culture, I do traditional Japanese tea for the last two years. Um, I speak Japanese, I consume a lot of Japanese media, um, including books and animations and uh, music. Generally, I think I'm a good athlete. I like different challenges. I've done um, roller derby for a year and a half. Um, right now I'm doing boxing. That's been a year and a half or so. did soccer for like six years. Uh, running for a good two years. Um, I think traveling is another part of my identity. I've had the opportunity to travel since I was six all around the world and I appreciate traveling and as I'm older I appreciate more of the connections that I've made with people and more of the independent exploring of a place um, and their culture. Um, that influences my work a lot um, and I mean as I travel I have interest in the art world so I go to museums. Um, I've been fortunate to go to Europe for the last two years, um, see some very well-renowned museums, and um, I can appreciate artists before me and what they've done. big dream of mine is incorporating art and travel together. Um, I got the opportunity to go to a two-week summer pre-college class at uh, the School of Art Institute Chicago. Um, I took the advanced projects course and it was a great opportunity using their facilities to make installations. New York meant a lot to me. Um, I've always looked up to the National Scholastics as kind of the highest gold tier of mine since I was in middle school of uh, recognition. Uh, it was amazing to see the interior of presentation at Carnegie Hall. Um, I learned a lot from being part of the National Scholastic community, seeing my fellow peers at um, a similar level as mine um, in their art careers. Uh, seeing everyone's craft up on the walls and accomplishments at Parsons and Pratt, but it's just kind of amazing what sort of work is being produced today. So Maya won a gold medal for a portrait, a self-portrait that she did, but not only did she win a gold medal, but she won an American Vision, which um, that award is like a best in state. So um, she was recognized as the Oregon sort of state award winner for her piece. Oh man. <laughs> That's good.